Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Today we're going to teach you how to use and how to create the Google Scholar account. For this purpose, the most important things you have to remember is that you have to sign into your Google ID, or you can use other IDs which are affiliated with Google through your institutions. So once you are into the Google ID, so for example, I just sign in and I got my page of login which is this one so I am already signed in into the Google through my Google ID that is the step one step two I'll be going back to the Google and going to type in Google Scholar so you just click Google Scholar and the first website which would be scholar.google.com click on this website and here you go so you will get this kind of page after you click the website for Google Scholar. So in this page you have different options. You will go to the left side and you will click on these three lines, these three dots and you have to click the option of my profile. Once you are already under this option, you have to fill in all the details, for example, affiliation, your name, your email for verification for example I'm using out there I mean at uniza.edu.my which is my institution the verification email area of interest for example genetic disease estimation vaccine obesity pneumonia remember in this option you have to pick maximum five options one two three four five more than five it will not accept it so after filling in the area of interest if you want to put in home page could be your Facebook anything Yoniza's email uh, uh, the, e the website email anything you want to add in you will click next so that is all we have so you have all these options different names are available so you pick only the one which is yours for example my one is this one only I'll pick this option of my article and then I click go to the next one and these are some of the articles which are present in my profile option one so if you see up there these are two boxes if you click the left box it will, it will pick all the names which are similar to your name but if you click on the other box which three lines it will pick all the articles in which we are expecting you to be there so you pick only the articles which you think and you believe it's you because you have published them you know about them for example these are none of my articles I proceed to the next option okay this is my article for example I have picked this article move on to the next part click and yes I said I have picked a total of four articles example I will click this option of blue arrow and then it is going to ask you are you going to get all the updates automatically or the or, or the updates it's more like any new articles which you are getting into your account or anyone who is your co-author is getting the new citations any kind of those information you want it to get updated automatically or you want it to be emailed to you first and then you want to update it so you said I uh, I, I pick for example apply updates automatically and then I just click done I don't want my profile to be public because I'm using it as a trial version I said okay I don't want it to be uh, available publicly and then I just click done and that is how the Google Pro Scholar profile is created. So currently with my profile I have only two H index and with 33 citations. So this is how we create the Google Scholar ID. Thank you so much for listening and stay tuned for a few more videos.